for us to bring something of supreme value, we have to bring what doesn't reference human culture primarily, that is referencing something that is not of this world. As it's been said, we are in this world, but we are not of this world. We're in this world, we're relevant to this world, physically speaking, we're made of the stuff of planet Earth and the stuff of the universe. Our planet didn't manage to segregate itself from the whole universe. But we are bringing something that is beyond all that. When we do, we are a living temple, a living temple, a living temple for the living word. The living word is the voice of the universe as it comes to focus here. It is the creative current that brings life, that is relevant to our planet, to our race, and to our culture. And yet the living word is a reality that is not of our culture. The words might in some sense sound familiar. They're English. And yet they refer to something that is not of human religion or human culture of any kind. The living word. In the magic of how we are made, our words can bring the living word. And in that sense, our words can become the living word. Not in and of themselves, but because they give expression to the ineffable, to the central guidance system for our lives. We are holonically made as human beings and as humankind. So that just as in our physical bodies, an individual cell contains the pattern for the whole body, not just that cell. It contains the DNA for the whole body that's replicated throughout the body. The same is true for us as cells in the body of humankind. We have within us the pattern of all of humankind. And we are bringing the living word into the cell in the body of humankind that we are so that we, we become a living temple, a living temple for the living word.